What it do, T Squad? It's your girl Keisha, aka Color Me Pink, and I'm here with this week's All Tea All Shade Baddies West Season Three, Episode Twelve Review. So the episode begins with Natalie explaining to the girls what happened with Tommy. You know, on last week's episode, Tommy felt like Natalie was being funny by having security leave her luggage by the door, and she felt like she was being disrespected by security and Natalie and her and her sister were trying to get to Natalie's room, but production wouldn't let her up, so she ended up leaving the house. So Natalie is telling the girls what happened and everything. She doesn't know if Tommy's going to show up to the club or not, but she does know that Krishan is going to show up. So everybody is excited about the fact that Krishan is going to finish out the show. And so, you know, they were just hyping up the fact that they were in the Bay Area, which is Natalie and Stunner Girl's area. So Stunner Girl is just super excited to be back in her hometown. She's going up. Everybody's excited for her. And Lo makes a comment about, well, maybe Tommy didn't want to come to the club that night because, you know, Stunner is back in her city with her people. And Biggie gets to take enough for Tommy. No, no, we're not going to say that. No, we're not going to do that. No, because ain't nobody scared of nobody here. And I'm just letting y'all know, I don't care if Tommy's here or not. You know, I'm going to stick up for my girl. That's my girl. And ain't nobody scared of nobody here. And I just want to let y'all know that. <laughs> it's like, girl, simmer that neck down. Girl, you can barely breathe. So everybody just like, girl, okay, we get it. You are Tommy's BFF. Y'all are boo things. Okay. Like, oh my God, can you get your head out of her anus, please? All the girls are irked, especially Roly. Roly get to going off on Biggie and was like, girl, like you doing team too much. Like stun a girl sitting there. She ain't said nothing to you. Ain't made no like sly slick comments. And here you go starting with her once again. Like, can we please let it go? We're at the end. And she was like, and at the end of the day, you sitting up here sneak. I mean, you sitting up here sticking up for Tommy. And she was like, girl, Tommy ain't your friend. Like, girl, she is not your friend. You sitting up here doing the most for somebody you just met. Like, y'all just met each other, girl. Y'all ain't besties. Like, what are you doing? And Biggie was just sitting up there looking stupid in the face. Tell me some no, but, you know, I'm just going to keep the same energy, you know, because, you know, everybody was cool. Everybody's friends. And, you know, Tommy's not here to stick up for herself. So somebody got to stick up for her. <laughs> So Stunna leaves the room because she's just like, girl, ain't nobody got time. I got my Marge Simpson hairdo in, honey. I'm about to go kick it. So um, they get on the bus, and this time Stunna girl is in the back with everybody else, and Biggie is up front by herself. And so she FaceTimes Tommy to tell Tommy what was being said. And so I couldn't hear what Tommy said, but I was seeing online that everybody was saying that – she said to Biggie, like, we ain't friends <laughs> and hung up. But in her confessional, she was like, I don't like you. I don't like none of y'all. Like, girl, like, get off my dick. Like, we're not friends. Like, I don't fuck with you like that. And Biggie just sitting up there looking stupid, like, just so stupid because you've been caping for this girl since day one, running in behind her every second you could. And I don't know if she, like, really looked up to Tommy, if she had a crush on Tommy, she want to be Tommy, she want to cut Tommy's skin off and sew it onto hers and be Tommy. I don't know, child. But it was giving, like, little sis look up to big sis, and big sis is a granny, <laughs> like, literally a grandma, and looking at her like, girl, this is just for TV, like, we are not friends, like, what I look like hanging around with somebody with three necks. <laughs> That's not what I said. That's what I think Tommy was thinking. So Biggie's, like I said, looking stupid. They get to the club and lo and behold, Tommy already at the club with her people. Like she mobbed up. So right when they get in the club, everybody just got a bad feeling. Like it's just eerie when you get to the club. Um, the club people won't let stun a girl friends and cousins and stuff up on stage with her. And so she feeling some type of way because Tommy got her people with her and they let her people, you know, be up on stage. So she in her feelings, she, she feeling some type of way. Cause I'm in my city and I can't even have my people with me. 
So Rock is there with blue face. She ain't speaking to nobody. Um, she just giving everybody the stink face in her velour sweatsuit. <laughs> that girl got more velour sweatsuits than I got edges, child. So um, next thing you know, before they can even get it really cracking, fights start breaking out. And Razor said she was mad because Sky was messing up the DJ set as always, I'm like, Sky is the worst DJ ever. Please don't bring her back. Please do not. So everybody irked because the music ain't right. People fighting. It's crowded. They can't get everybody to calm down. And it's already animosity between some of the girls. And then, you know, the cast members was feeling like it was people there from the auditions that was mean mugging them and, you know, wanted they lick back or, you know, wanted to make a moment and a statement about, you know, y'all picked these girls and didn't pick me. Like the energy was just totally off. So stun to say that she felt like Tommy got her guy friends surrounding her. And like Tommy was with a bunch of dudes and like her sister was with her or whatever the case may be. So she was feeling some type of way. So after she like did her little one, two on the mic, she went outside. She left and went outside with her people cause she just was not feeling it at all. So Rock in her, con in her confessional was like, when I pulled up, I felt a bad vibe in my spirit. She even felt like something just wasn't right with this club. Like, it was just too much. It was too much going on. So, when she gets to a performance, it's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. Like, the next time I see uh, Krishan perform, I need for her to have a new song. Okay? I need for her to have a new song. Like, it's a vibe. It's, it's dope. You know, put her on the map. But we need something else. Okay? But she performing and somebody throw uh, a platform shoe <laughs> at her and it like hit blue in the head a little bit. He was standing there, you know, you could tell he was bothered, but he was trying not to be bothered. And he was scoping the scene to peep out like what's going on. Like he was just, you know, trying to go like on go. But Rock wasn't having it. She was like, who threw the shoe? Who threw the shoe? Somebody tell me who threw this shoe. Baby, she was not going to give up until somebody told her who threw that damn shoe. But didn't nobody tell her who threw the damn shoe. So she ended up throwing her microphone in the audience, child. More fights start breaking out. It's fight over here, a fight over there, a fight over yonder, a fight back there. Like, it's just fights everywhere. So, um, the crowd at this point is gassed. Is maced by security because it is just an all-out melee. So at this point, you know, mace get in your throat and stuff. You can't breathe. You coughing. Your eyes is red and water. Everybody is trying to evacuate the building. It is just people running for their lives. You know, Lo was trying to go up the steps thinking it was um, an exit up there, but she ended up walking up a pair of steps that just led her to the DJ booth. Krishan and Blueface was following her. She like, no, no, no. Mayday, mayday. Go down that way. <laughs> she said she ran up out the club and um, everybody else was trying to figure out a way to get up out of there. It was just a mess. A mess. So, Stutter Girl, like I said, was already outside with her people. So next thing we know, we see Tommy coming up out the club on one of her dudes back. Give, you know, he was giving her a piggyback ride. And it was like her dudes or whatever was behind her. But Stutter Girl was like off right to the right of her. And I don't know who hit who first. But next thing you know, a fight breaks out with Stunner Girl and a whole bunch of girls jumping her. And it seemed like some Stunner Girl people was trying to jump in or whatever. But Stunner Girl was holding her own against some other girls or whatever as they was jumping her. Next thing you know, Tommy and her confession was like, she looked back and she see people fighting. She see her sister fighting. So she said she jumped down because, you know, her sister throwing hands, she throwing hands. Next thing we know, like the fight had went back inside the building one of the security guards grabs Stunner Girl up. Her Marge Simpson is leaning like the leaning tower of Pisa. And then in walks Tommy with her pink wig on. And as security has Stunner Girl in his arms, bear hugging her, Tommy then hits her as security is like putting Stunner Girl down on her feet. Tommy swings on her. They get to fighting <laughs> like this. And then we see another girl jump in. I think whoever the other girl was, was somebody on Stunner Girl team. Because I saw her trying to hit Tommy with some haymakers. 
And then the episode went off, child. It was a a mess, a mess. And I saw some clips on Twitter of what happened after the fact. And you see Stunner Girl changed out of her outfit and put on a hoodie. Her boyfriend pulled up or whatever because she didn't like the fact that Tommy had all them dudes with her. Her boyfriend come. They in the middle of the street. He got a, a blicky out. He get this up in the air. I'm like, what is that about? Like, why are we doing all this? Why are we, why are we doing this? Um, they are filming a reunion and it has been so much being said on social media before the episode aired and afterwards. So I'll be doing a separate video on that baby because everybody is arguing and everybody is fighting and this reunion is about to be up. <laughs> okay. Up. Overall, I'm going to give last night's episode an A. They're they going out with a bang. They sure are going out with a bang. I'll give them that much. Um, and I got some exclusive tea from Roly about Stunner Girl getting jumped and who was behind it. It wasn't me. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think about um, last night's episode of Baddies West. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like it, subscribe, hit that notification bell button, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.